All right, we can buy sell you those figurines. Yo, welcome to Dubstown, Dubstown, Dick Spawn Plus. Take a look around. Sell. I will sell you some collectibles. For how much? I don't know. Ooh, 25 bucks. Sweet. That's some money. That's some good money. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I... Mm, it's only one dollar. Sure. Catch a new catch break with that blasted lotto machine over there. That one over there beside the ATM. It's it's for the good of our life. Welcome to Big Lotto. Purchase card. I'm gonna scratch cards. Five cards. Come on. Let's scratch some cards. Yes. Nothing. Yes. It's a winner? What? No. Insert winner. Oh. Oh, that's... That's all. It's just... You get one dollar for winning. <sighs> Come on. Last one? Nothing. Load. Okay, sorry about that. My mic kind of uh, cut out after I just tried to cheap out this game with these lotto things, and uh, uh, a couple things happened. Uh, we were playing. If I if I look at the uh, if I look at the load, we were here for like uh, 20 more minutes. Not not here exactly, but playing this game. And unfortunately, things uh, happened that I now know of, which we are going to do our best to avoid. First of all, did I sell you all my stuff? Did I sell you all my collectibles? I did. And I think I did do this. Where you can buy these uh, hero figure things. Don't know if I have them or not, or if I did this already, but you can sell them to this guy. And depending on which one you get, it might be worth it. Oh, uh, that was only $2. That was not worth it at all. But regardless, um, we're going to leave. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to Dark Hef. Uh, we're not going to go to a stupid bacon barn thing. We're gonna go here. Yep. Dark should be waiting for me inside. We need to get... Uh, should I... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to help out... Dark... Nah, we'll help out Dark F. Because... Because we... I've learned if we help out Dark F, we can help out, uh, Telly... Telly Lager? Is that her name? I think. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Look, I'm working here today. Is Dark F around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on then? Dark F's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. Thank you, sir. But yeah, I, I did this whole Dark F thing, and uh, afterwards, we weren't able to go hell out Tele Telelager. We also got nowhere near $500, so I guess this is a good thing to try and redo. And the dead rise. You're late too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper and I don't know how well it's gonna go without it. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I, I don't wonder how different my life would be if he hadn't suddenly if he, if he hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again. Look, Chris left you what? A year ago? See, I'm 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 iffy on this. If he left us a year ago, why did Tewi Lager not know that he left us at all? Cause she was like, Oh, how's your boyfriend doing? And uh and we're like, Oh, he he left and she's like, Ah, oh, you're such a good kid. But he's like, dude, he left you a year ago. What are you doing? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but my life's been kind of shitty for me ever since he left. How long are you going to blame him for everything? Seriously, you got to take some responsibility. Remember, he left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. 
Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared to change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kinda wish I had some to calm my nerves. Ah well, my burden to bear. Here's the layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got none I got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Okay, let's make sure we get it right this time. Um Okay. Print screen, so we get a picture of it, right? See, there there's a Okay. Which of these is the bass? Which of these is the guitar? I don't actually know. I'm, I need to look this up right now. Bass is the one on the left. Yeah. We'll say that. The key is in these boxes here. All I've got to do is put the stuff, the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job, so you'd better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly, I'll give you $100, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. Thank you, Dark F. Okay, so we're gonna save here just so that if we do somehow mess this up, we don't mess this up. Picked up the guitar. Oh, God. See, this is what I did last time. So when I did this, I thought I had to stand in front of it and press the button. But no, if you do that, it places where you're standing. So I have to stand here and say yes. No, no sort of instruction on that, no explanation, hope I put that right together. I hope that I put that right together too, because the guitar and bass are literally the exact same model. And you're about to see that. Better be a damn good show, they look exactly the same, so I hope there's no issue there. Picked up the drums, they went to the top right. Oh, right, you. Hey, hey, Danielle, come give me a hug. Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark have split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before his show? Trust me, if I know Dark if, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? Hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are splits feel for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Danielle. I also know my baby's super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a baggie of heroin. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dargo's been doing so well, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle on his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? He'll just get it from someone else otherwise. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Dark if left you for a reason, what don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Daniel. You don't know the first thing about Dark if, what he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. Yeah, fuck you too, Viper. Yep, might as well. No sense leaving it around. He'll probably see it on the floor and be all super angry at us. Not actually sure. This is what I did last time. I'm working up a sweat here. Well, that's about as good as it get, it's going to get, I guess. Come on, Viper. Or not Viper. Dark F. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. I swear, if they are wrong, I'm going to reset the game and I'm going to swap them. Nope. 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 There was no indication whatsoever that the guitar went in the other spot. They looked exactly the same. But, you know, fine, fine. I'll just, I'll just, whatever. It's not a problem. Not a problem. I'll just, just do it again. Okay. Here we go. Yes, yeah, set up the equipment here. Please tell me that's right. Ah, uh, guitar probably should be next to the... Oh, we, I did put the guitar next to the microphone, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Damn fine work. It's so rare I get to walk out the stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the hundred I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Oh, and I can give me extra? Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she did stop by. Really? 
She didn't leave anything here, did she? Actually... Yeah. She left you this. Jesus. That looks good right about now. Fuck. W one hit before the show won't hurt, right? Y you know, for my nerves? Dog gift, come on, man. You know this shit is bad for you. I can't give you this in good conscience. At least now you know you're not above an offer, though. Jesus Christ, motherfucker. Why would you tell me like that? I thought you were my friend. You didn't give it to me, though. I guess that counts for something. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working the coat check. We're short-staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Danielle. You're a good friend. Now, I could go back to Telly Wager, Telly Wager and try and help out there, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do either job. I hope I made the right call with Dark F. He's really been there for me this past year. Question mark? Oh. I guess we weren't supposed to go in here. You can do this, man. You don't need that crap anymore. You don't need her anymore, either. I don't want to bother him, but... At the same time... Oh! D Danielle! You didn't hear that, did you? Didn't hear a word. Yeah, yeah, you're the worst liar. Thanks for not giving me Viper's little gift. She had her fangs in deep, and I don't think I would have been able to say no without you. No problem. You've done a lot for me over this past year. This was the least I could do. You're my best friend. Likewise. Thank you, Dark F. I will do what I did last time, though. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Flush the brown sugar down. Guess it's better I don't keep that junk on me. Get rid of that heroin. Okay. Oh, could I have just... Oh, uh, I could have looked at this. Well. Okay, that would have been useful information. I mean, I guess that was information the whole time. Hey man, what's going on? I have fun working while I sit here and flex my big 22-inch pythons. Ah, uh, you can't. Uh, guess we have to wait. What a strange night. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat sack. Then again, Miss Telly Weir did ask for my help. I suppose seeing what she, seeing what she needed would be worthwhile, even if I am more than a little late. No, it's it's not worth it. Because we go there, and we go to get the stuff, and then it it doesn't work out. She asks if we want to have dinner with her, and that would give us money, so... As far as I can tell. Oh, look who's back. I really hope you did a good job setting up for the show tonight. Good show means more horny ladies for me to share my secret sauce with. So I guess you still want to take over the coat check tonight. Ready to get started? Sure, man, why not? Folks will be coming in and your job is to hang their damn jackets up. When you do that, you'll give them a ticket for their retrieval later. You only get paid in tips, so try to avoid wasting everyone's time by remembering where you stored each coat. Also, try not to be the total jackass you usually are. Okay, I'll open a notepad file. And get ready to do this. People don't like tipping jackasses. Lastly, don't you even think about stealing from people's pockets. There's no security back there, but if I find out you're a thief, I'll throw you out on your damn ass. Right. Now get to work. Oh, you, right, hey. They finally let us in. I thought they were going to make us wait out there forever. Is it worth the wait? I'll go hang your coat up. Your ticket number is 65. Okay, okay, so we, we gotta... Oh, God, this is gonna... Oh, I can't... Oh, you bastards. Okay. Coat 65, top left. Oh, hey, Haley. Hey, it's you. Thanks for making that delivery earlier. I already feel a warm and glowy, if you know what I mean. Hee <laughs> hee, have fun. You're taking number 66. Alright, 66, top right. Easy. Ho! Oh. There you are, deadbeat. Oh, I thought you'd skip out on me. You better come see me after this show, and you'd better have my money. Remember, if you don't have $500 before you come home, you'll be sleeping on the streets like the scum you are. What the hell kind of music is this anyway? You kids today are so damn weird. I'm gonna stick around a bit and make sure you don't bail. Yeah, yeah, old man. 
Dick number 68. Okay, so asshole and whatever guy. Whoa. You've been here all night. Any fine honeys walk through here yet? You're actually a nice looking piece yourself. I'm down to get down if you know what I mean. Uh, they're all waiting, bro. Ticket number is 69. Of course it is. Of course it is. Right? If true love is based on devo is devoid of superficiality, but all attraction is based on it, then how do you explain love at first sight? I, uh, I'll let you figure that one out. Ticket number 70. Oh, God. Um, okay. 70. Okay, 65. And 70 are both right there. I can remember this. That's for the other girl. And the weird guy. Hey, ya, Danielle. What's shaking? Working hot, I see. Viper? You should know that Dark Gift didn't get your little gift. But if he wants to see you or not, that'll be his call. What did you do, Danielle? I swear you live to piss me off sometimes. Just give me your damn coat already. Take a number 71. Alright, two assholes are gonna go together. Ah, oh, I should've put the... Nah. There's no sandwiches in there. Give me my coat back. 70 is my ticket. Sure thing. Can do. Take this, won't you? It's always a good time to invest in a sandwich. Uh, thanks. That was my own sandwich. But I'll take it back. Oh, hello. You didn't like the music, bud? This noise is awful, and my ears are ringing. I'll be waiting around for you at the apartment and beg... Borrow or steal. You better have my cash. Ticket number 68. Can you give me a tip? I haven't gotten any money from this yet. See you later, deadbeat. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm gonna dance until my feet give out. We're gonna burn up the floor tonight, babe. You go, girl. Well, here's your ticket. 72. Alright, I'll put it with the other girl. Other crazy girl. Not crazy girl, but drugged up girl. Oh, God. Way hell, hell, hey. Well, hey there, fellow cool person. Heard that this place was a cool hangout and a possibly good place to buy some sweet illegal drugs. You a cop? Whoa, that's crazy. No, I'm just an average ghost like yourself looking to score me some sweet illegal drugs. No cops here, fellow coolian. Well, alright then. You take number 74. I'll put you with Viper. Are you the- oh, you're the horny girl. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, I twisted my ankle thanks to my stupid heel. I'm not gonna dance again. Please, just give me my coat. Oh, I should've said don't hurt yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, thanks. Ooh. I need you to sprint out of here. Horny guy, what's going on? Hey, did you see some girl limping out of here? Hurry up and get my coat so I can catch up. Someone's got to help her off her feet, if you know what I mean. Hmm. 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 I think I'll wait a little bit, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, this is your jacket. It is. But, at the same time, um, who cares, you know? Fine. <sighs> An honest night's work, if I do say so myself. Time to collect my tips and check out the concert. Left me ninety dollars in tips. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, I don't even want to talk to you. I'm so nervous for my baby. Good thing I took my medicine. He can't live without me. I am his medicine, and he is mine. Wow, that was pretty cool. What, whatever happened up there. It's gone to kick ass. Nice lightning. Hello, cool person. I'm still looking to score some sweet illegal drugs. Know any other cool people? Dance with me, baby. Darker's never sounded better. La 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 la. Darker over here. Darker, have noticed me, please. I'm the biggest fan. Senpai. Face melted from the sweet rock and roll. Okay. I'm about to snap. I'm not too sure how much more I can take. Oh, hey, Haley. I feel amazing. Best happy pills ever. Let's talk to you. What can I get for you, babe? Just give me a cola. Might as well. Alright, let's save. That'd be a, a good thing to do right now. I have a lot of saves. Worth it. 
Um, let's take ourselves a Super Cola. Super energetic, yeah. Alright. Let's go check out the bathrooms. Nothing here, but it's a garbage used condom. Hmm, it's a lot. Yes, right, okay. Uh, no one's gonna mind if I check in here, right? Is that a crowbar? I could use a crowbar. Crowbar? Crowbar? Sounds like a crowbar here. I will take the crowbar. Hell yes! Oh, I can break into so many things now, right? I wonder. So, am I doing anything? Dog is really rocking it tonight. He is. It's getting late. Need the concert? I guess I'll stick around for a bit. I, I don't know when it ends. Like, there aren't many options besides leave the concert right now. Oh, hey, Danielle. You must be up here for the 20 bucks I owe you. Rock on. Oh, thank you, Haddon. Okay, so that's... Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, we're only halfway there. Okay, that's not a problem. It's getting late. Leave the concert. 246 available to pay rent. That's not enough to get me back in my bed. Maybe you can scrounge together a few more bucks, but it looks like I'll be sleeping under the stars tonight. Better go find a comfy seat mattress. There's one next to the mattress, or next to the apartment, but 